Hey everyone, I'm back, and today we're going to be talking about Rambo, First Blood Part 2. And this movie came out in 1985, and it stars Sylvester Stallone once again as John Rambo. And I have seen all of the Rambo movies, I believe, at some point in my life. And the only ones I remember anything about are the first one and the fourth one. Uh, actually, I haven't seen the fifth one yet. Mostly because uh, that movie wasn't released uh, by the time when I was watching all these movies. Like, I watched the first four Rambo movies when I was like, I don't know, 15 years old or something. Maybe a bit younger. Don't remember the exact age, but I have seen the first four movies for sure. Two and three, I've always been meaning to get around to. I just kept forgetting to get to them. And the only thing that I really remembered about uh, this movie in particular was uh, like the one scene where John Rambo was just like being tortured, I guess, uh, by like in a river of like feces or whatever. I don't really remember. But yeah, that's pretty much all I remembered about the movie and nothing else. And I don't know why that always stood out to me. <laughs> and going into the movie, overall, I thought it was fine, kind of mediocre, somewhat unspecial. The film overall, to me, is just a really bland action movie in the sense that there's nothing really particularly memorable about it. Sure, there are some uh, cool explosions, and there's a lot of explosions in this movie. And it looks cool, and it's fun. The third act is pretty entertaining, and the action overall is entertaining. And I liked uh, following John Rambo. That was fun. I liked Sylvester Stallone as this character. I thought he did a good job. And there were points uh, where I uh, did enjoy where the story was going. But, all in all, I just didn't really care about what was going on. Mostly because I didn't really find anything that was going on to be interesting, whether it be the story for the most part, or the characters. I didn't really find any of the side characters to be interesting, whether that be the villains of the movie or any of the side characters. There's just nothing really there. They're all very basic. I don't care about what's going on with them. John Rambo, like, it's nice to see him, and, you know, you're kind of behind what he's doing, but... Aside from that, there's just not much really to latch on to in this movie. And there were a couple points where there were too many, like... And there were points in this movie where there were some, like, really awful close-ups on faces uh, towards the beginning. Which I felt could have been done better. The nighttime scenes in this movie didn't feel like nighttime scenes at all. It just felt uh, like it was all taking place during the day for the most part. And... Or it was just on a set because of the way things were lit. And it always just felt way too bright for it to be nighttime. That was my biggest issue with it. And the director of this movie, George P. Kamato, I, I have no idea how to pronounce his name, but the only movie that I've seen from him is Tombstone, which I remember enjoying, even though I haven't seen it in a while. I'm not really sure why they gave him uh, this movie, <laughs> because I don't think he was really big before this movie. He didn't really have much of a name, and in terms of visual presentation, like, everything's just simple to the point, uh, nothing super impressive in terms of directing. It's not, like, that interesting uh, of a movie to look at, uh, for the most part. Like, I love uh, the stunt work. And I like how the action scenes are handled. You can see everything clearly. But in terms of style, like, there's no style, really, to this movie at all. Like, this movie could have been directed by anyone. And the movie would have probably either come out worse, the same, or better. Depending on if they had a style. Like, if you gave this movie to, like, someone with no style, just any random person, the movie would be no different in my mind. And I guess uh, one positive uh, to say about this movie, this movie is slightly over an hour and a half, and I wasn't really bored throughout the runtime. So I guess that's something, even though <laughs> there are plenty of movies that are longer that I would consider not boring in the slightest. But still, for a movie that I would say is kind of a bland action movie, that's good. 
And there are a couple other things going on in this movie that didn't really add much to the experience at all. All in all, this is just a worse version of the first movie, if you ask me. So if you want uh, this type of experience, just watch the first movie. You don't really need to see the second movie. Even though it is watchable, and I guess I could recommend it, but I don't see myself ever coming back to this movie. It's not terrible enough to be so bad that it's good. It's not good enough to be like, yes, I would recommend this as a really good 80s action movie. Instead, it's just kind of in the middle, just boring, bland, and kind of forgettable. And that's about all I have to say, really. It's fine. (laughs) It is what it is, I guess. So with all that being said, I'm going to give Rambo First Blood Part 2 a 5 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos. As always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of Rambo First Blood Part 2 and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Foley Nation, and I'll see when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for A Quiet Place Part 2. <laughs> two Part 2 movies <laughs> right next to each other. So I'll look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.